Good day. Welcome to another series of Revit tutorial. In this series, we are going to adjust this roof. The height to go up a bit, and the the read cap as well, without affecting the plan. Without affecting the plan. Then and again we are going to adjust the elevation a bit that's going to make a make it more unique and more attractive. So let's go. So what we do the first thing to do is click on the on this roof, change the roof height, I mean roof slope, change it to 35 degree, apply, you see it jumping up good so do the same thing here do not select the the cutouts or the vertical cut just select the whole roof when you are bringing this let's loop selected and you click that change it to again change to 35 degree to apply the zoom out you see everything jump up without go to the floor, uh, roof plan and see the roof plan is not affected but a little bit higher so the shadow there is reflected so that is how you adjust your roof without affecting your reach cap so now i want to work on the elevation by creating a little bit of the groove around this space so what we do is that you go to the plan and the four plan, four front of the plan, you select any of these and you create similar. When you creating similar, what you need to do is to change the thickness, click on edit type and duplicate it. Duplicate it to you can rename it or leave it the way it is. So let's leave it this way. I know that's a, the fourth part of the edit, uh, duplicate stru uh, structure I'm doing. So here now, I want to make sure that I in maintain the thickness. Yes, let's say okay. I want to maintain it of a three hundred mm. Then I want to change the material to something that I know be of a relevant to what I want to do duplicate and say okay check the graphics you see using the radiant appearance if it's not checklist it so yeah you just do appearance setting and go to to your appearance library select wall paint Then change to something that not okay will be of a good nature to what you are doing there. So let me use that gray. Where is it? This light gray. This is dark gray. So I'm using this dark gray. Say okay. I say okay. Click okay and click okay as well. So draw your work around here. You know it's more bigger and more thick so select it that way so that's you do align it to this particular place Just align it that way now what you do now is go to elevation and say edit provide in the south part so what I want to do here is I want to create an opening around this space. And get what I'm going to do now. So here uh, we align this to meet good. Retrieve. So now you do here is click. Put the line. Open this side. Okay. Good. 
page so break this into two by clicking line break select like that and say click finished so as you do that go to your your west side elevation zoom select this particular wall as well so if you're having some issue here maybe you still adjust the elevation of that part so so that we meet up with the the creative pattern of what you are doing there so select this as well create this this one then align this same pattern let them start from the same base so from here now you draw another line you draw the particular line let's let this line meet all with this so break this up click finish so go back to this particular one say edit profile go to south at the southern part align this so that we all follow the same pattern so click finish so you're clicking finish go to go to 3d So your 3D selects the select and change the oriented view. Good. See what we've done here. So what I want to do here is to create strip all around this place in 3D parts. So you click on your architecture, click on components, say model in place, just use case work, say okay. You say okay, case work one click like that leave the name so click on create and click on sweep on your sweep just say pick plane pick parts instead of drawing parts so pick 3d parts and let it select for you so click here click here click here click click so as you've done that, align those two and now join together. Join them together by what? By trimming them. So click finish. Now click edit provide. Go to floor plan. So floor plan one we edit five for you. So at this point. I want something like cough and the hair just a little bit pattern. So here I break this into two, trim this and trim. Click finish, click finish. So here in the category, select category and make sure you say duplicate just want to use white plain color appearance appearance ceramic I'll go to ceramic and say poly so use eyes eyes white click and okay that's all. So you go to your elevation. Have you seen what you've done? Mm -hmm. So after you do that, click finish. So go to your camera and go and see how it looks. So this one gives you a little bit a fix it to the elevation after you have adjusted and do whatsoever you want to do. So that is how you change the elevation make the elevation look more attractive by creating something effective so this one is more advanced and developed so what you want to do here just cast a little bit of reality view let's cast then 
bring the shadow you see that this elevation is more attractive unlike before so this is more presentable and unique so you decide to add this particular point of your design to what you have done so that is how you work on and edit your elevation so the next lesson we are going to conclude this by adjusting all the background and make them look more attractive please subscribe to the channel so that the daily basis of the video